if you've ever tried to buy concert tickets, let's say signing up for register courses is like buying concert tickets. Hello there. <laughs> it's Joanna from the future editing and honestly, I have no idea what Okay, serious. Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Um, today, we, today we are brought to you by my desk. I decided to film over here and I'm gonna edit this video right after this works out. Um, anyway, so course registration is coming up and I decided to give some tips or okay, so things that you might want to know for course registration. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, after you're enrolled, you should be getting an application packet with like dorms and like um, maybe some courses and payments and that kind of thing. But later on, you should get an email where you're assigned to your academic advisor. And this advisor you'll have for the whole four years of university. Different, but this was my experience after I got enrolled and an email from them. I'm not sure how orientation is going to be, but it'll probably be online like how mine was. You, um, There'll be an email where it'll talk to you about your academic advisor and later with that email send you um, the requirements for your classes. I think it's also uploaded on the Yonsei website which has the different requirements for each division and the different classes. And mentioned before, um, in another video, my Q&A, um, we have these things called CCs, which is like the common curriculum, which are classes that you have to take um, in order to graduate, and usually people take them first year. So I guess for the first tip, I would say that try to finish all your common courses the first year in university since it's very competitive later on and you have to be more focused on your major courses so make sure to try to get as much of those classes that you can get for some a way to actually find out about what requirements your division um, requires for classes you can go over to the Yonsei website over here or your advisor should be sending you an email or it might be included in your academic packet I got mine after um, I found out who my academic advisor was and he emailed me the requirements. You can also go to News and Events. And as you see the overview, there's Academic Affairs, Students, Services, and Events. And um, usually this is where the updates are. And here is the option course enrollment guidelines for 2021 spring semester so that's the most recent one um so you can go ahead and click that and over here will be the pdfs or the things that you have to um download and it tells you when it is the enrollment time period and dates which is important and this is the different basically but um, more information um you can click this and it will um download the file which you can click over and it'll be the guide on how to apply and enroll um literally is super detailed and has everything really when I read it, it really helped me apply to classes, and as you can see, there'll be like requirements for common curriculum, so you can go ahead and try to um, create your schedule around that. But anyway, um, so CCs, you should definitely um, try to finish the ones most if possible. Um, usually, people recommend my academic advisor recommended me not to take. Um, we have to take this course called. CR critical reasoning and one science literacy which can include usually includes um, RDQM and design 
quantitative methods people recommend not to take it together burdensome with all the work so that's um something that i learned from my advisor and also upperclassmen something else is that since we're talking about cc's or just classes in general i think definitely check out the syllabus of each professor um classes depend on the professor so as you can see this is the yonsei portal you can change the language to english over to this section um it's a bit covered but it's like a book with a um, scope, I forgot, a magnifying glass, and you click it, it says course and syllabus undergrad and graduate, so you go over ahead and click that, but over here you'll see this like list, um, there aren't any classes on it yet, but you have to search that up, there's some description above and some keys that will tell you, so just go click undergraduate program, go over to Underwood International College for the next section and um, you can use all or you uh, make sure you do the right semester and year and it's first um, spring 2021 you could actually go ahead and click it now but um, it might be too much so you can specify it and go ahead and choose common curriculum um, usually first year um, semester or first year students are always on the international campus so you can click international since it is CC's common courses you can scroll over um, different pages you'll see the other classes and I'll go to the freshman intensive right um, freshman writing intensive seminar um, it's a class that we have to take on the catalog and you can see that it is three credits and it shows the instructors um, and the time and the schedule. It might be confusing why it's like Monday 5 and um, that sort of thing. I'll explain that later and yeah, um, it'll show the, if it's online or anything and you click this purple arrow i'm not so sure if i'm allowed to show it but this is basically what's in that um syllabus there you can search in this area too by course code or those sections like monday one and wednesday one two it would be um on monday that class would be from nine to ten and on wednesday it would be from 9 to 11 since it's two hours since it's two period blocks showing you a great way on how to make your sky i'm going to show you a good website or app that is very useful i recently started using it um it is called every time and i have my automatic translator since i'm learning korean still and i'm not that fluent but it is made to make college these uh, you can't see all and you can click it just click on the class and it will be there so as you can see over here there are different stars um, you can click on it and you can see different ratings on how people um, rated the professor the class and it gives you a little gauge on how it is um, and you can see over here the number of people that are planning to take that so I guess you can exit here if you don't want that class or, and yeah so it's a week and that's how you can make it on every time but no worries I got your back for those who can't do this um, I'll link this um, below on my description but had an upperclassman um, provide this like template and I also kind of made my own um, it's pretty much the same though because it was really um, useful thanks to Peta um, for this but 
here. You can look it over. I use this. So here's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And if you see the classes, one means nine. So for example, if the class, I'll say like class one is at Tuesday, um, one and there, and then on Thursday, Tuesday, um, one, two, two, so that means, um, class one is Tuesday one, so one is nine, so it would be here during this, this time, and Thursday one to two, so it would be from nine, oh, here, here, so it would be these two, I don't know why I'm using ones but it will be there. About registering for classes itself. I was not prepared how intense it was. I was honestly super shocked. I'll explain it in experience. If you've ever tried to buy concert tickets, let's say signing up for register courses is like buying concert tickets. So <laughs> it's pretty intense, especially since everyone like a concert is trying to get the classes as you are um it gets better over time since people tend to do their own majors and i guess it's more competitive in like that scope but first year for cc's it is like everyone is trying to get the same classes especially since they might want a certain professor, a certain time slot. The undergrad course enrollment, since we're undergrad, it pops up to this window. And as you can see, I have my automatic um, student ID and password in. I currently cannot log in since it is not the time period. But if you look down here in this highlighted part, it is the schedule on... Um, oh, this is interesting. It's still um, the winter session since we also enroll for winter or summer session classes in here. Um, I think they will update it later on the 2021 spring semester since that's coming up soon. If you didn't know your student ID as freshmen since there is an application ID, um, over here in this bottom, it says find your student ID. You put your application number and your birthday and you search it up and they'll give you the student ID to put into your login. So um, I'll actually show you inside since it's not the time period, but I will show you a website that honestly is amazing. So as you can see here, type in time navy navyism i don't actually know how to pronounce that but here it shows the server time on when it like when the portal open start applying for classes so um if you go here it will enter this website and if you can see in the search bar area it says yonsei um, that part will be blank. I typed in Yonsei. I just wrote Yonsei. And it says, <laughs> it's funny. Uh, website will originally be, as you can see, um, I said, and it says fight. And switch it over to English in this option here. Um, so it goes here in Korean. I mean, in English. I can't English right now. Um, wait. So month, date, year, and here is the current time. So um, once this hits um, like zero, all zero, or alarm, um, you'll make like a sound. Oh my. It makes the sound. Oh my goodness, I didn't know that it was going to make that sound, but it makes that sound. That sound was, it is kind of creepy. I'll show you, it's like, oh, it's on. Um, and then this is when people start clicking on classes.
because they want to get their class or you enroll for um, classes officially um, you have this time where you can put all your classes in a wish list so it will be easier so technically you search up all the classes it's similar to the course catalog with all the syllabus so you click your class or your code and see the times that you want then you add it to your wish list and what a lot of people like to do is they they make each class in a tab I'm so sorry if you guys don't understand but here I'll try to it works so this is what people do they get each class they want and from the wish list you can make um the tab and they take separate tabs like this and they stack it and you can like here's the button for each class and you can't really see it but they see the most wanted and the least wanted that the least is usually the classes you're pretty much guaranteed to so yeah it looks kind of weird here but that's what i did for my class registration and yeah that's what i did I so as you can see this is another photo um after you click it might freeze a bit but then right away you'll see here in the bottom in this section where the square is it's confirmed list so these will be the classes that you have gone in and below here in the bottom is the waiting list which um, are the classes that you're still currently on hold for and it's and over here whoops and over here um, it says my waiting number this is where you'll press and if there's um, total number so pretend there's like five people total waiting you press this number and you can see oh you're like maybe you're the second person so like you're two out of five that's gonna go in and depending on the remaining number are your chances usually um, recommendation is to stay if you're less than 10 and there's um, quite a lot of seats but if you're like maybe 20 in a class which only has like day seats um, if you need another um, credit you should try to get that class instead since if you're on the waiting list you might um, lose a chance on the other class and um, fulfilling your credit for your requirement so yeah that's pretty much it and you also can cancel classes here in this button or this and just cancel here if you want to get out of this waiting list so that is pretty much it for this video hopefully this helps um these were just some things that helped me a lot any more questions feel free to comment down below or hit me up on my socials that i put in my description um all the links that i talked about will be in the description too and also if you have any more ideas or any more questions just feel free to ask i'll help as much as i can and hopefully this journey or this like experience will be smooth and well with all of y'all um yeah so that's pretty much it see you in the next video bye